As the Savage Lord, my domain is one of respect, valor, and unyielding strength, qualities that are cultivated through noble deeds and honorable conduct. While I am compelled to address the folly of your missive, Spencer Soyjack, it is with a heavy heart that I must tread carefully through the morass of your vitriol, ensuring that my own response does not mirror the ignobility of your words. Your endeavors, Sir Soyjack, as portrayed through your missive, appear not as a testament to any semblance of chivalry or manhood, but as a lamentable ode to a spirit ensnared in the shallows of its own making. The vigor with which you levy your accusations, devoid of any grace and strength characteristic of true gentlemen, betrays a deep-seated tumult within, a tumult perhaps exacerbated by engagements of questionable repute, where the bonds of respect and decency are forsaken in favor of fleeting, clandestine encounters that speak not of valor, but of a desperate search for connection in the most dubious of manners. It is not my place to cast aspersions upon one's personal journey or the choices that lead one down paths less traveled. However, when such choices impel a man to forsake the virtues of honor, respect, and dignity, it becomes a matter not merely of personal failing, but of a profound betrayal of the noble potential within. The mention of your predilection for such escapades, Spencer, does not serve to elevate your station, but rather to highlight the tragic expedition from the luminous peaks of potential manhood into the shadowed valleys of baseness and derision. Let this be a call, not to arms, but to reflection a beacon to guide you back to the path of honor, away from the quagmire of disdain and discord. May you find the strength to forge a legacy not of disparagement and fleeting shadowed encounters, but of respect, valor, and manhood defined by the virtues that unite rather than the vices that divide. In the theater of life, where each man must choose his role, let us not strive for the part of the scoundrel or the knave, but for that of the knight, whose armor is polished not by the accolades of the many, but by the good deeds done in the service of all. Spencer, the path to redemption is arduous, but it is never too late to turn from the shadowed byways to the sunlit paths of honor and virtue. Yours truly, the Savage Lord.